Hi, my friend, it's Doreen Virtue. And as someone who used to channel books and who's read a lot of channeled books, now that I have converted and I'm a 100% born again Christian, I study and read the Bible daily, my perspective on channeled books has really changed. And I wanted to give you some insight of how channeled books are made. Well, they're really made by the author opening their mind sometimes praying first, but simply opening their mind and listening for a voice. And the voice could come as a feeling or a thought or um, an actual voice that you hear inside your head or outside your head. Now that might not sound bad, but the thing is when you're writing channeled books is most of us authors, probably all of us, didn't check the ID of who that voice is from. I certainly didn't know any better till I read the Bible and the warnings to test the spirits. And the, the spirits that come through, they all seem to say the same thing. And here's the common thread that we all wanna watch out for, is that the channeled spirit in these books will say that there's something more that God wants to tell you. That there's some secret that's not in the Bible there's extra material. Even there's some Christian channeled books, or so-called Christian channeled books, supposedly from Jesus that say that. There's extra from the Bible. There's New Age books that, um, that say, don't believe the Bible, don't believe Jesus, don't believe God. And the New Age channeled books tend to say that there are messages from the universe. Look, there is a universe, but it's God's creation. And we are told in the Bible not to worship the creation, but to worship the creator. So why would we go to God's creation, the universe, for anything, when we can go directly to the one who created the universe, God? And we can access God's information, all of it, in his holy word, the Bible. And these days, there's some wonderfully accurate translations that make the Bible super easy to understand. And it's also free of charge online, such as One Year Bible. You can get that online for free at oneyearbibleonline.com. Uh, there's free apps of the Bible. Most, most uh, thrift stores sell used Bibles for a dollar or two. Probably in your attic or your family bookshelf, there's a old Bible. So Bibles don't have to cost anything. Most churches around the world give free Bible study classes. So again, doesn't have to cost you anything. And check it out, Bible study classes not only help us to go deeper in understanding God's message for us, but also is a wonderful way to make new friends who are believers as well. So. I just wanted to give you this heads up about channel books in case you've got any or you're reading them. Be really discerning, you guys. Don't, don't trust a voice that says it's got some additional material or some secret for you. That's usually a sign of the devil with the same message that he always says going straight back to the garden when he said to Eve, look, God didn't really mean that. If you eat this fruit, you will have extra information that no one else has. You will be like God. And, and Eve fell for that lie. Let's not do the same. Let's not fall for any voice, whether it's coming to you or, or through a channeled book that says it has some extra information so that you can be like God or that you can... Um, you know, get something that God's holding back. <laughs> God doesn't hold back. Everything that he wants to tell us is here in the Bible, and it's a very clear message of love and caring for us all. Yes, it's got um, the historical background of a different culture, and the culture at that time was more patriarchal than we are now, but you can, you can see it as the history book, and then you can see God's message in the Bible all throughout. And I'm telling you, the reading the Bible changed my life. I, If I could go back in time, I would have read the Bible front to back, Genesis to Revelation, when I was much younger. And I pray that someone watching this video is hearing this message and will start reading the Bible, stop listening to channeled voices, and turn to God. As Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, Lean not upon your own understanding. 
And that includes not leaning upon the understanding of false spirits coming through channeled material. So be careful out there. Spirituality is awesome, but only when it's directed by God. So God bless you, and I'll see you soon.